to plan on the spacing of the figure, I'm going to rule a line on tracing paper so that I can have a row of swimwear on top and a row of swimwear on the bottom. Now, I'm going to slip the croquis underneath the paper, and you may have to fold it a little more, get the arm out of there, because you don't need the arm. So you're just showing the body, you just have that body exposed. So what I'm going to have is, and I'm not going to worry if they come out beautiful or not yet. I'm not worrying because this is a rough, tracing paper is rough, and this is the under pad here. Okay. Now, using a reference, my reference, someone give me the design reference. Or I'm going to use... Well, <laughs> this is a little, a little wild. Um, it's better to spread your fabrics out and to have that in front of you so that you know what your fabrications are, okay? Can, can I have your fabrics as well? Now remember, everybody's interpretation will be different. So my interpretation may look different than her interpretation. So let's see how that will uh, play out. First, I'm going to start off with a one-piece swimsuit, and I'll lay out my fabrics on top of a white piece of paper so that I can see the fabrics clearly, the color story, and the color of the fabrics clearly. Okay. Now, I'm going to do a asymmetrical design. I'm going to start off with the a, a one piece. I'm following the body. I could do this a little darker. I'll talking this up. following the body, close to the body, and I'm going to just do something a little bizarre, okay? So. So now I have, if I lift this up, I have a silhouette of the design. And I'm thinking about how I'm going to distribute this in terms of fabrication. So I might want to do the top in this, and the bottom can be in one of the day glow colors. And I might want to also include this. Let's just put it together like that. Okay. So here I'm going to do this with the top. Let's get it very risque. So this is my shear. This is where the shear is going to go. And then here is the pattern. I don't have to put in the pattern yet because that will come in the rendering. But I'm placing the fabrics where I see them initially. So I have to get a sense of, of placement. So I'm just going to quickly, just for my own visual sake, you know, um, just get in the fabric, just feel.
just to I always like to see color and placement because I think it's kind of interesting to see it, you know, just to quickly do that. And then I have this color in the pansy. I might want to lift this edge up a, a drop. Maybe I want to make, oh, here it is. It's up to here. So this whole part is the solid. That's design one. How long did that design take to do? Maybe a couple of minutes? Okay, I'm, I'm now on my second design. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move my croquet over. And this is clearly a one piece, right? And eventually I may say, gee, I may not like this line. I may want to angle it differently. You know, that comes in the refining of the design. All right? So now I'm going to look to see what kind of a two-piece I'm going to make out of this. So I'll start again with this. And I will... And maybe I'll go this way, and then and I'm picking up the leg line. She needs a heavy waxing with this. <laughs> Okay, sometimes I put in the belly button. Let me tell you the placement of the belly button. A belly button, if you have a figure, I'm just going to show them on the figure. Here's the waist, right? The smaller the waist. So if you draw a line straight across, the belly button is an inch and a half below that, the natural waistline an inch and a half. Some people put it a little too high, like close to the waist, so you have to kind of watch the placement of that belly button, okay? All right, so and here's my fabric again, and I have sheer, and I may have the day glow, and another day glow, and I can't do this sheer, obviously. So maybe <laughs> I'll, I'll do a stripe here from the glasses or from this kind of, in a stripe of day glow. Okay. And now I move on to the next design. Blah, 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 blah. It keeps going on. And now I'm doing maybe a tankini. So a tankini, let's see if we want to do it Here's the bandeau. And I have to decide what I want to do here. Maybe I want to do a little pair of boy shorts. And those always come up like this. Notice the shade, see the shade? Sometimes you'll see seaming in them, just as a, a, a style line, like on men's underwear. Some men's underwear have that gusset seam. Sometimes you won't see it. And then I have to decide how long I want this top. Do I want it here? Well, I want to show a little skin here because I want to show some skin, okay. Now, let's take a look at this and see, is that enough? Well, what will be enough is if, let's say I have this all stretch. Let's say I have a strap here. Maybe a strap. Maybe not a strap there. Maybe it's going to go on to the back, so it's a single strap. Just play around with this. 
And then let's do a, let's do the print. And up here would be like a day glow color. So we can enlarge the print. The print is, this is the way we see the print. This is how to render all prints. Take this print and put it on your shoulder. Just put it, take the hair, go like this. <laughs> put it on the shoulder. Just put it like, yeah. You can put it in front of you here. Okay, so I'm about five or six feet away from it. That's the scale that that should be on this figure. So I'm always scaling down the print for the natural body size. Yes? Okay. So don't change the scale of it unless it's a specific thing. All right? So I would continue all these designs. Thank you and continue, 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 and until I get, and maybe I've got three here, four, five, maybe I can get six across. If I can't, I can take um, a piece of scotch tape and add it to another wing there, just have a separate strip there of the additional designs. Don't worry about things like that. That's the least important of the, of the, uh, of the whole story. So you just keep going across. Now, I might want to use more of these things. Maybe those things I'm going to do insert. Maybe I'm going to make a belt out of it so she's going to have like, it looks like almost like green cigarettes with pink, pink um, heads on them. So maybe that's going to be a feature here or there in the designs. Maybe the strap will have some of those things, you know. So in other words, when you're doing a grouping, the group, what pulls the group together is several things. Fabric, color, design, detail. So in this case, what's pulling this group together is the asymmetrical the asymmetrical detail. What else is pulling it together? Well, the fabric we said, fabric and color, the, the seaming, these Diagonal seamings, diagonal seams, what else? And maybe these, um, for lack of a better word, these little cigarette, <laughs> day glow cigarettes. Okay. So I have three things plus the fabric, which is creating a group here and creating a commonality in the designs. Does every one of them have to have the cigarettes? No. 